Hi grade 11, so in this video we are just going to cover a gap principle as well as a accounting equation. So I just found this question paper on the previous paper that has been written on paper 1. So we are just going to treat it. So please make sure that you watch all the videos so that you will understand how are you going to answer uh, the principle of gap as well as uh, accounting equation. Okay, let's start with our question. It was question 1 from grade 11 paper of exam that was written on June in Limpompo, okay? You must treat the different kind of provinces so that you can gain more principle, guys, okay? Then number one, they say that we have to match uh, column A with column B, okay? Materiality, and we have matching, and we have historical, and we have business entity. So, the major principle that we are going to do, guys, is not to get the answer, but to understand this principle. Okay, number one is materiality, and we have to check answer on the column B, okay? So, number A, they said a building are valued at 2,500, but it is shown as 550 in the financial statement, okay? We have the principle of historical cost. Historical cost is saying that we have to make sure that all the history of the assets that we bought, we have to make sure that we keep them record as it is, okay? Which means that we have to apply historical cost. If we bought a vehicle by 50000 we have to indicate that the cost price of that vehicle is 50000 We call it historical cost. So which means that number A is going to match with number 3, okay? Number A with number three. Okay, then they said interest expense should be disclosed separately in the financial record. Okay, uh, which means that number B is going to match with materiality. Interest expense should be disclosed separately in the financial statement. Why interest expense is not part of other expenses? because it's material when we said material which means that it's important when we said ah these things is not material simple means that it's not that important so interest is taken more serious uh, according to the gap principle we, that's why when we prepare income statement we must first record all expenses all those other expenses like rent expense uh, repairs and other insurance expenses and all and so on and so on but we never include interest expense because it's material it must be recorded separate after all those other expenses okay which means that uh, number b is going to number one okay then financial activities of business are kept separately from those of the owner in other words when we prepare financial statement, we don't have to include the property of the owner, which means that it's business entity. Business entity say that whenever, if we're talking about a business, we, talk, we must talk about business. Whether the owner is another BMW or something or many assets, we don't have to include them into business. We have to separate those two, okay? Which means that number C will fall into number 4. Okay. Then one point, the, okay, let's read the other one. Insurance of 2,500 is paid in advance. This amount is not reflected in the statement of comprehensive income. This is a matching principle. Matching principle said that we have to make sure that we only record for 12 months. Advance income or expense must not be recorded or the expense of next year or income of next year must not be recorded. It's a matching concept, okay? Matching concept will fall 1.2D, okay? We don't have number 1.15, which means that the other one of a data who owe 1,270 was written off as bad as, as it could not be traced. So this one is not going to form part of anything here. 
okay but please tell me on the comment section which gap principle or accounting principle are we going to apply for number e okay i will hear from you on the comment section okay then 1.2 accounting equation okay complete the table provided in the answer book and indicate the accounting equation of the following transaction assume that the bank balance is favorable for all transactions okay they're not going to give us amount but they want us to indicate whether it's a plus or minus okay example okay let's ignore that one number a one of the partners contributed delivery vehicle as part of his investment in the partnership okay we have to make sure that we identify two components every time when we prepare a accounting equation okay two components for this one is going to be number one vehicle and the number two as part of his investment in partnership this is capital contribution okay now the vehicle has been added into a business and we know that vehicle is an asset which means that account debited is an asset okay it's gonna be delivery vehicle and equity is going to increase once we debit the other one we credit capital we are going to credit okay capital of this partner has increased now the sign obviously is going to be plus and plus unchanged asset is equal to equity plus zero simple as that okay then another one they said a credit note received for damaged equipment has been returned okay how are we going to treat this a credit note okay remember if uh, we return something into our creditors which means that it's going to be a creditors allowance but if customer return to us is a debtors allowance okay which means that because we return our liability is going down our liability is going to decrease okay how do we decrease a liability by debit okay by debit which means that account debited is is going to be creditors because we are the one who uh, return to creditors it must be creditors allowance if customer return to us is debtors allowance okay and it's going to be uh, it's going to reduce what in assets if uh, the, the customer return all right now what has been returned we return equipment which means that account credited is an asset which is going to decrease equipment we no longer have it that's why it's minus we no longer have it we return it to supplier simple okay then the last one the repairs to building were debited to land and building account in error this must be corrected repairs were debited to land and building account repairs is an expense guys must not be included into cost price of um, land and building which means that uh, what we are going to do we are going to reduce it into what a land and building and assets we are going to subtract it land and building we subtracted it and now where are we going to record it equity is going to be expense minus and we said repairs simple as that so see, this is how you should treat uh, accounting equation if it's part of your test or examination thank you so much get 11 go and watch other videos under a playlist if you are not a um, part of this um, accounting solution channel guys please 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 subscribe share with friend and let's support one another so that i can assist you more and more by doing more videos thank you so much guys see you on the next one